Hey folks, Justin from CartoonSmart.com. Let's go ahead and create an Adobe Air project uh, for Android, I should say. And uh, I've already got my mine started up over here, but uh, on your end, just go over here to File New, and you just want to pick Air for Android. And go ahead and leave the width and height uh, as it is. I think that's actually pretty okay. And I'll just cancel that one because that's what I just did. And if your workspace looks drastically different than mine, uh, you can go over here and set the, the classic workspace. Uh, I kind of like this. It doesn't really matter that much for action script stuff. But if you want it to look a little bit more like mine, go for it. So uh, we're going to make a, just a very simple project here where we kind of uh, simulate uh, an iOS toggle. I know it's going to be kind of funny, but it's something I sort of wish I had done in a project I just did. I was relying on checkboxes, and I kind of wish I had used a t kind of my own toggle. So we'll start there, and let's first go over here to Publish Settings, uh, just so you guys get a, kind of an idea of what's going to happen. Uh, it's We're going to target Air 26 for Android. Uh, go over here to your, well, this is that little monkey red cynic over here. They've, um, they've made things pretty simple um, in terms of the output file that would normally have the name of whatever I saved this document as, which I should do in a moment. Uh, but uh, let's say, you know, let's just call this test project, right? Uh, and if you want, you can do what they're suggesting over here, kind of put in like com.cartoonsmart or whatever your domain name is. Uh, you this your app ID ends up having this part of it with this in front of it air dot com dot and, and whatnot so just keep that in mind um, so I guess a little bit I will call this test project right uh, otherwise settings uh, go ahead and choose now if it's going to be portrait or landscape we're going to use portrait uh, if you were to do landscape of course adjust these settings uh, you can go ahead and uh, go for full screen why not uh, audio orientation eh, let's toggle that one off. Uh, let's go over to deployment, and uh, one thing you want to do is create a, um, a certificate, basically a signing certificate. This is really easy. Just fill in all your info right here, put in a password, confirm password, right, and then just save it. I usually save this wherever I've saved the document at. Okay, so if I had to zip them up one day together, they're just gonna be zipped up together, and then. Um, I'm just going to cancel out. And then after you do that, just go ahead and put in the password that you put right here. This is just kind of a requirement for uploading your, your stuff to the Google Play Store that you've basically signed it. Okay. Uh, let's not worry about the device release, any of this stuff for right now. Um, if you did have a, an Android device uh, and plugged it in, in developer mode, it would show up over here. You might have to hit refresh. Uh, but just for right now, early on, let's kind of make things easier on ourselves and not worry about the actual device testing. Icons, um, again, this is kind of down the road stuff, but this is really easy. Just make icons these sizes, find them, right? Permissions, uh, probably down the road too. You know, you, you want to have the internet toggle on. Um, I haven't done anything else with any of these other ones. And then languages, hey, why not English, right? All right, so we'll just uh, we'll cancel that for right now. And I don't think we need to worry about the rest of this. So cl just click on OK. And I suppose I should uh, save this file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so like I said, I'll call it test project. We'll put it in. I'm just, this is just a folder on my desktop, so I'll go ahead and click save over there. And we're gonna write a little bit of action script uh, right here on this one frame uh, that is gonna basically pull up uh, some action script files. Okay, so this is really simple. What we're gonna do is just go over here to Window Actions, and we're gonna type in here include, and then we're gonna just put in a path to those files. So I'm going to put in here AS3 files, do a little slash, and then let's just call this initial setup dot AS. Okay, do the colon after it. All right, got that. So next thing we're going to do is create a folder and then put this file in there. All right, so just uh, close your actions. Let's go make a new file, action script 3 file. There we go. Click OK. Let's go ahead and save it out. And here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, well, it's kind of getting cut off. New folder, AS3 files, create it, and what do I call that? Initial setup. There we go. Okay, now um, let's go ahead and open that file up. I guess I closed it somehow. Oh, it, it, it opened up off to the side. Sorry. All right. Kind of dock that back in there, and that should actually be right there. There we go. 
Okay, so to make sure this is working, let's just run the trace statement. If you're uh, coming from the iOS world, this is just like running a print statement. So, hey, what better than to write hello world, right? Or hello worlds. Could be a new world for you. Okay, so get used to hitting the command key and the return key, or I guess that could be whatever hotkey is shown you for this right here. Okay, so that's going to test out our project. And it's actually going to open up the little kind of uh, uh, air simulator. I lost that. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All I really care about right now is that uh, it, it's showing me hello worlds over here. Okay, so it did print that out, which obviously means that back over here, uh, this line of code on our timeline uh, worked out just fine. Let me bring up the actions window again, just to remind you guys. Oops. There it is. Okay, so that is successful. And now we can begin for real here. And you know what? Since I spent six minutes so far in this video, why don't we begin fresh in a new video where we'll begin making our little toggle.